All right, we're rolling. And the uh, Altec, this 342, which is the same as like, a lot of their tube stuff. The mixer amps that everybody likes. I always use this 1612 on kick. It's it was I, I did it on, on an accident. I would have never thought to do it, and then one time I just was like in one of my things where I'm like I want to try something, and it just sounds nice. Because so much of the other so many of the other mics pick up kick that you get a lot of the low end and sort of resonance from the room, and this just gives it this just kind of limited just smack. And I always use the some kind of spring reverb almost always. Sometimes I use this tape echo uh, which is sort of a guitar level device but I'll put it through a compressor on the way back just to give it some more gain sometimes I use that slap back on vocals but I, I use some kind of spring reverb on vocals it used to be an Orban and I think the Orban sound really nice but I like this master room a little bit more I always use an 1176 either on vocals sometimes bass use it on piano tonight in the Ure 7110 compressors, they're just great guitar compressors, guitar bus compressors. <clears throat> I don't know, I could probably ramble on. The <laughs> LA, LA3, you heard it. I mean, it's like they're just amazing. They just, they just do what they do. What it's do you like, it it's like they're magic. Like there's a person in there. Uh, vocals, the main vocals. So the LA3 <clears throat> was on vocals, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I've used it on guitar. A lot of people like them on guitar. <clears throat> I think it sounds nice, but just it just excels on vocals. I mean, it can just ride the shit out of stuff. You know, people always talked about them. You know, I always read about them, like LA twos, LA threes. You know, legendary opto compre you know opto compressor, blah blah blah. And it's like when I got one, I was like, holy crap. And I've heard some people that I know that I don't know, maybe don't listen closely to compression or whatever, say like, you can't hear it. It doesn't do anything or something like that. And it's like, well, yeah. You know, it's one of those things where it's like. You, you don't you don't hear it you hear it and you don't hear it when you take it away is when you really hear it but it's 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 just a magic it's just a magic thing and the top compressor just got those I, I think they're really nice you know, i mean you heard them they just punched up when i when i moved the ratio up a little bit which models you know? are those just the dc2 fet compressor i cracked it open when i got it it's just one fet you know just a simple like they manufacture them in China, that's how they keep them kind of cheap. But you know, I'd, a friend of mine was at AES and said they were great. They stole the show. You know, compared to just about anything else that he heard at the whole show, they just blew his mind. So I was thinking about them, and and I read this Tony Visconti did a review of them and tape op and and um, the story behind this board. Oh, this board. <laughs> this was found <laughs> at a local like uh, sound sound um equipment rental place a guy that just does like sound systems and stuff and a friend of mine bought it for a few hundred bucks years ago and then i had a soundcraft an old series two which is a beautiful board it was almost like a neve I mean, it's amazing eq huge but i had it on its side with the bottom off with the oxit and crap and i would worked on it for months and months and i finally got it working and it was great i loved it it was beautiful and the power supply died and then the power supply died again and it was one of these things where it's like i love it but I, you know what i mean it's like a volkswagen bug you know or something it's like it just can't work every day you know i cannot have something that's just gonna maybe stop working all of a sudden and this Allen heath is just doing it right it's just now. doing it yeah i mean it's it's british and i like any any board that's british i mean it's it's pretty clean it's got it's got a little bit of a sound of its own it's got its own quirks. I understand them. The EQs aren't great. I've listened to the preamps a little bit, but they don't blow my mind. But it, yeah, it just works. You know, it's just a just an old British console that I can afford. <laughs>